In this video we're going to talk about even and odd functions. So what is an even function and what is an odd function? Well a function f is said to be even if f of negative x is equal to f of x. So what that means if you have some formula for f of x if you replace all of the x's with negative x you end up getting the same formula again. Okay, f of negative x equals f of x. So for example f of negative 5 should be the same thing as f of 5 and f of negative 7 should be the same thing as f of positive 7. Okay, if that's the case for every x, then you have an even function. Okay, now a function f is said to be odd if f of negative x is not equal to f of x, it's equal to negative f of x. So in other words, if you take your formula for f of x and you replace all of those x's in that formula with negative x, you end up getting the negative of your original uh, uh, value. So f of negative 5 would be the same thing as negative f of 5. Okay, well that fun definition is a little bit hard to grasp until we start seeing some, some examples. Okay, so uh, uh, decide whether the function is even or odd or neither. So we have the function f of x equals x squared plus 3. What we need to do is check f of negative x and check does that equal f of x Okay, if it does, then we have an even function. Does it equal negative f of x? In that case, we have an odd function. Or is it neither of those things? Right? We'd have neither even nor odd function. So what's f of negative x? Well, we take our x here and replace it with negative x. So instead of having x squared, we have negative x squared plus 3. But notice that negative x quantity squared is the same thing as just x squared plus 3. And notice that's our original function, f of x. Right? So f of negative x is the same thing as f of x. In fact, you could look. What's f of 5? Right? Well, it'd be 5 squared is 25 plus 3 is 28. And what's f of minus 5? Well, minus 5 squared is also positive 25 plus 3 would be 28. Right? And there's nothing special about 5. You could check f of uh, 8 is the same thing as f of negative 8. Right? So what you have here is an even function. Okay? Because f of negative x is equal to f of x. Okay, in part b, the same thing, but we're trying to. Uh, we'll, we'll also try to find f of negative x. But let's see what happens. Well, f of x is 4x cubed plus 5x. So f of negative x is going to be 4 times negative x cubed plus 5 times negative x. Right. So we've replaced each of these x's with negative x. Well, notice that negative x quantity cubed it would be negative x times negative x times negative x. You end up having three negatives, so the negative remains, right? You have an odd number of negatives. So isn't this the same thing as negative 4x cubed? Okay, because you have negative x cubed is the same thing as negative x quantity cubed. So we can bring the negative out front. And then we have plus 5 times negative x. We might as well write that as minus 5x. But notice this is the same thing as the negative of your original function, right? The negative of 4x cubed plus 5x, right? So this is negative f of x. So notice that f of negative x was not equal to f of x. It actually equaled negative f of x. So what we have here is an odd function. Okay, this function is odd. Okay, now the last example, f of x equals x squared plus 6x. If we write f of negative x this time, we get negative x quantity squared plus 6 times negative x. Notice that's x squared minus 6x, but notice that's not the same thing as your original function, x squared plus 6x. It's also not the negative of your original function, right? It's not negative x squared minus 6x. So in this case, we have neither, right? This is neither even nor odd. Okay, we don't get the original function or the negative of the original function back. So it's neither even nor odd. Now one nice thing about even and odd functions, this, and this kind of helps you really understand um, what even and odd functions are all about, is that uh, we can tell based on a graph whether a function is even or odd pretty easily. In fact, even functions have graphs that are symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Okay, in fact, that's an if and only if statement. Uh, a, a function will be even if and only if its graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. And odd functions have graphs that are symmetric with respect to the origin. 
okay, with respect to the origin. Okay, so let's do a couple examples. Decide whether the function is even or odd or neither. Well, notice this is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. So if we flip it around the y-axis, we get the same function again. So this is an even function. And notice, by the way, if we went over to look at, like, what's f of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, what's f of 6, and what's f of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, what's f of minus 6, notice you should get the same number as an output. Okay, f of 6 and f of minus 6 both give us the same output up here. Okay, this is an even function. Okay, now this function here is, is odd, okay, because uh, it's symmetric with respect to the origin. Okay, if you were to go look at like f of 3, you get some number up here. Maybe it's, it's uh, let's say, 4. Okay, f of 3 is 4, but f of minus 3 ends up being not 4, okay, it's not up here, but minus 4. Okay, so f of 3 and f of minus 3 ended up being negatives of each other. This is an odd function, right? It's symmetric with respect to the origin. Now notice this function here is not symmetric with respect to the y-axis or, or the origin, or the x-axis for that matter. Uh, it's not symmetric with respect to anything, so this would be neither even uh, nor odd.